Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Infinite Zoom. It's going to be an extension for Stable Diffusion 11.11, the web UI. And uh, I just want to test this out. Um, I already messed around with it just very, very briefly. So let's get right into how to install it. I'm here at the GitHub website for this, and uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can have all this information as well. But I come here to how to install, and uh, so pretty much you open up Stable Diffusion, you go to your extension tabs right over here, you go into install from URL, and you're gonna have the link to the URL right here. Just copy that, and then just paste it here where it says URL for extensions Git repository, and then install it. Once you install it, you come here to installed, and then click on apply and restart UI. Once you've done that, you're gonna get a new tab right here where it says infinite zoom, and you're gonna have a bunch of parameters so you can mess around with. If you come down here, you're gonna have a little bit more information about parameters and how all this stuff works. And uh, I'm gonna open this link right here. And then there is in painting models, which is recommended. So if I open this up, you have some in painting models, and I guess in painting works better for this kind of thing. So you got stable diffusion version two in painting, 1.5 in painting, and you also have some well-known models here. And these are the in painting version of them. Uh, you got realistic vision in painting, dream shaper in painting, rev animated in painting, and you can just click on these to download. And what you wanna do is you wanna download these. So you can download any one of these that you like. And then when you save it, you wanna go into your stable diffusion folder go to models and then to stable diffusion, then you can save it in here. I'm already saving three of these right here. And once these are, and once these are finished, I'm gonna go into stable diffusion and mess around a little bit. We also have some other information about uh, the parameters. So I come in here and it tells you about how you can create prompts for steps. And right here it says, uh, total outpaint steps refers to the number of outpaint steps the program will generate. Each outpaint step creates a new image in the empty space created by reducing the size of the initial image in the center of the canvas. The higher the value of the total outpaint steps, the more outpainting steps will be generated, resulting in a longer video. However, generating more output steps also requires more processing time and resources. That's good to know. And it seems like you can also have your custom initial image where the whole animation is gonna start. So like you can have one image and then from there it's going to expand or zoom in. And here uh, to view the model I just downloaded, if you have already started up Stable Diffusion, click on this refresh button and I'm going to go to Dream Shaper in painting, click on that. So by default, I already have here a prompt and a negative prompt. Uh, here's the width and height of the video. You have the total steps here and from what we just read is that this will determine how long the video is. And then here you can put in new rows and put in like a number, let's say two, and you can put a new prompt here so that at step two, as it's zooming in or zooming out, there's going to be a change in the prompt depending on the number that you put here. You have different tabs here too, video, uh, frames per second. I think that should be fine. I'm gonna be zooming out. Number of start frame, do frames to freeze at the start of the video. Like this is like, if you don't want your video to start zooming out right away, you wanna have it wait a few frames, then you put this up for the start of the video, or you can do it at the end where it's going to stop at some point and it's just gonna like freeze there for the amount of frames that you put in here. And then the zoom speed, I just, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Zoom speed in seconds, higher values create slower zoom. So if I put it higher, then it's going to make the video probably longer. Outpaint, denoising strength, I'm gonna leave it as that. Mass blur, I wonder if it blurs between the steps. I'm gonna just try it as this for now and then see how it looks. In painting full resolution, mask padding. I'm just gonna put it at zero first. Let's see what kind of results I get. Then I'll ask, then I'll add the padding to see if it really does make a difference. And then uh, post process. So, and I guess you can upscale it right here, which is pretty cool. Let me just copy this and 
put it here so that I can create more prompts. So I was thinking maybe having something, maybe, I don't know if this is gonna work, but maybe having it start off like bird's eye view of a, like a town or a city and then start zooming out where you start to see other planets and space and then other galaxies and then have it like zoom out like that. I have a feeling it's not gonna work the way I have it in my mind, but I just wanna test it out anyways to see, see what it does. Let me change this to bird's eye view of small city, magical, mystical. No, I don't want none of this. I, I don't need it to be medieval. These artists are fine. All right, let me just see what this looks like. I wanna add some more steps with more prompts, but I just wanna test this to see what it's gonna give me. And then maybe then I'll add some more prompts to this. All right, let's just generate this video and see what we get. All right, um, not exactly what I had in mind, but uh, let's see what it does. You know what, I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, I'm gonna take all this stuff out. I'm going to make a few other ones. So view of earth from space. All right, so let me add some more right here. Add here another row, and I'm gonna make this up here on step two. And then step four, six, and then it's going to end on step eight. Let's just leave it like that for now. And uh, let's just run it. Let's see what we get. All right, let me see this. It's looking really weird. So what happened here is that I accidentally changed the model to a non in painting model and it was giving me some really bad results. Later on, I do fix this issue and then uh, I get some smoother results. Let me, let me just put it in manually. Let me see. Um, futuristic spaceship hallway. And these will all start with beautiful illustration. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, let's see what this uh, made. Um, all right. Ooh. Ah, cool. The glass and space, the haunting. Oh, the scary dark, dark hallway. Yeah, I like I like how this starts. I like the there's a moon, but then it gets to the part where this part and it's just like weird. Oh, it's the dead aliens thing. Let me actually change this. Um, I just kind of want it to get darker and darker and darker. Like it starts off like really bright, like, oh, this is so nice. And then it starts getting like more ominous and it's kind of scary as it kind of progresses. All right, so after some trial and error, the prompts do affect greatly the quality and how everything is going to blend uh, into each other. I just kind of want to explain my thought process with this. Let me actually bring up the, let me bring the video file. So I ran through several attempts to try to get something that looked kind of cool. Um, I was just thinking something that starts off futuristic and then it starts kind of going back in time. So this for me was working a little bit better. I thought this was kind of cool. Um, yeah, so it's futuristic. Then it becomes kind of like, like, a, like a hotel, like a hotel hallway. And then it becomes kind of like this medieval, like more like old school hallway. Here's another one that I did, you know, it trips me out a little bit to be honest. But uh, I think it's really cool. It's blending quite well into each other. Like I don't see the lines. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, so if you wanna check it out for yourself, I have all the links in the description. Here I put the numbers that I wanted, basically in what order and like around what part of the video these prompts will come into play so out of 30 you know uh i have all these and so at this point zero it's going to be this prompt at three it's going to be this prompt at six is this prompt and then so on and so forth and it gets 24 and from 24 it goes all the way to 30. so that's kind of how it works it's like sections of the video and the more steps you add the longer the video will be
Oh, and also, if you want, you can even add an image right here. And this will be the first frame that it will start with, and then it's going to expand and go into the other things. Let me just do it just for fun. This doesn't really match any of this, but let's just try it. All right, so it's gonna start with this and then, yeah, it's going to expand on the prompt after that. So this is a good way to start with something very specific if you want to, and then it's going to blend into other things, which is really cool. I think it's cool. And in order to find your video, you would go into your uh, stable diffusion folder and go into outputs, go to image to image, and then there's an infinite zoom folder here. And then you have all your infinite zoom videos in here. All right, everyone. So yeah, go ahead and test this out. See what you can come up with. Tag me, let me know what's up. Let me know. I want to see the stuff that you guys work on. So until next time, please take care. God bless. Peace.